Well, hello, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to go out and catch some freshwater bass. And I'm going to start off by showing you how to catch the largemouth bass right there. And I'm going to show you how to catch him in both South Korea and U.S. West DLC. It's going to be slightly different uh, once we go to the U.S. West DLC. And then we're going to catch the, uh, the striped bass up there. And then last, we're going to catch this smallmouth bass. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take you to uh, South Korea. We're going to find a location on South Korea and we're going to catch the largemouth bass. I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are on location eight of South Korea. I haven't fished this one for a while, so I thought this would be a great place to take you guys to go fishing. All right, so let's pull up our Fishopedia here. And we're going to go over here and we're going to look at the largemouth bass. Now, as you can see, for the lures, it likes the crankbait, the popper, and the whopper plopper. And for live baits, it likes the shiner. Now, the easiest place to catch this is in South Korea. And I'll show you why once we get to US West DLC. But it's really easy to, to find this guy in South Korea. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with the crankbait. So I have my crankbait on my pole here. Let me bring it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the crankbait. I'm going to press right one time to go to the metal jig. When it goes to the metal jig, we're looking for it to turn yellow. So you see how you have that large fish there? Let me get look down here at it. So you see how you have that large fish there that turned yellow? If I go back to my crankbait, see now it's green. I go to the right and it's yellow again. That right there is the largemouth bass. And that's one of the reasons why South Korea is so nice to catch it at because it's really easy to spot just by moving your thumbstick right one time to the metal jig. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the crankbait. And I'm going to cast out there and let this guy go down and catch it. Now this fish will swim on all depths. So when you're using the crankbait, if it is on the top, you will have to kind of jig it around a little bit to uh, try to catch it from the top of the water and not let it sink all the way down because the crankbait does drop down to the bottom as you're reeling it in. So you have to reel it in a little bit slower and just kind of you know, jig it around a little bit to try to keep it on the top if, it's, if the fish is on the top. Or you could use like the whopper plopper or something like that as well to try to catch it when it's on the top. Uh, I just tend to use the crankbait on this one. So we'll bring this guy in. See him jump. There he is. There's our largemouth bass. And then after I get this guy in, then I'm going to take you to a location on the US West DLC and explain how to catch it on. US West DLC. Like I said, it's you could do the same technique, um, but there is a conflict, and I'll explain that once we get there. So let's bring this guy in here. Almost there. Almost I'll reach out there and see if I can. There we go. And there's our largemouth bass. Right, let me keep him. Alright. So now I'm going to take you to uh, a location on US West DLC. I'll figure something out and uh, I'll bring you there when I get there. Okay, so here we are on the US West DLC. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up my Fishopedia here just so you can see that on the US West DLC, it's always the same lures and the same bait. All right. And then the walleye also likes the crankbait. And one of the reasons why we're, we're not using the same method is because on the walleye it likes the crankbait and it's also yellow on the metal jig so using the same method on on this location on the US West DLC you would be able to see you know you would get more walleye and largemouth bass you'd get them both now if you're fishing for both hey that's great you can you know target both of those large fish doing that um, but if you're specifically looking for the largemouth bass what we're gonna do on the US West DLC is we're gonna use the crankbait like we did before Okay, I got the crankbait here, and we're going to press right two times this time to go to the popper. And we want the crankbait and the popper to both be green. So we got some green fish here on top. We got some green fish down on the bottom. These are the large fish. I'm going to press right two times and see how these two changed to green. That one stayed green, and that one turned red. So the red one, see it, go back to yellow. The red one is the walleye. And the green ones are the largemouth bass. 
Now, remember what I said before, uh, if you're trying to catch the ones on top, you might want to stick to something like a popper or a whopper plopper. See, if I go to the whopper plopper, those stayed green as well. And those are good for catching the ones on top. And then for the crankbait, um, it's going to go down below. So you got these down here uh, that would, you would catch these on the crankbait. So since these are on top, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the whopper plopper just for the, the popping noise and, and see if we can catch those. Now this is going to cast out 250 feet. So, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to reel it in five, you know, around five times between five and 10 times. I should be able to get that, those guys within five or 10 reels on my line. Um, if I don't get it by then, then I'll go ahead and quick retrieve it and cast out again using the crankbait and just kind of jig it around. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not kind of jigging around there. There we go. I got him on there. And there he takes off. And we'll bring this guy in. As you can see, it's pretty easy to, to find these guys on both the South Korea and U.S. West DLC. You just gotta go over one more time on the U.S. West DLC. I missed my uh, snap there. And these guys can be found on a lot of the maps. So not not all the maps, but on most all the maps. So actually, they could be on all the maps. So I'd have to go back and look at my spreadsheet. And speaking of my spreadsheet, if you don't know, I do have a spreadsheet that has all the color codes. And there is a link in the description below. So if you want to look at that spreadsheet and try to research on finding different fish, um, feel free to use that. I have that out there for everybody to use. It took a lot of hours to put that spreadsheet together and it's very well used. So it gets used a lot. Matter of fact, I use it when I research my videos. So bring this guy in. There's another large mouth bass. And we're going to keep him. Next, I'm going to show you how to catch the striped bass. And let's just find a different location just to keep it a little different. You can catch the striped bass on here. But let's try out a different map just for fun. Okay, so here we are on location 12. Uh, one of my favorite locations to fish on US West DLC. I do like all the fall colors, so it's really nice. So let's go ahead and bring up the Fish OPD here. And we're going to go over to the striped bass. Now on the striped bass, there's a couple of easy ways to find this guy. Number one, if you're using the lures, you can use the soft bait. And with a soft bait, what you'll do is you'll look for green on the soft bait. You're going to press your thumbstick left one time until you get to the spinner. And you're going to look for that large fish to turn red. So if it turns red on the spinner, that's going to be your striped bass. Now for the live baits, I'll show you that after we catch this guy here. All right, so let me bring up my soft bait and let's look for some green fish. So we have some large green fish here. We have some large green fish here. All right, I'm going to press my thumbstick left one time to the spinner. As you can see, we have one right here that turned red. And we have two of these ones down here. So these are on the bottom and this one's on top. So what I could do... Oh, never mind. That one was yellow. So that's not one of them. So these two right here right there kind of mixed in with these other fish uh, these are the two striped bass right there see how they turned red so those are the two we're going to go after do we have any more nope so we're going to go after these two here all right actually i guess that one wouldn't have been it because it's on the top and the striped bass is always on the bottom so let me cast out there it's going to pretty much straight out and what i'm going to do is i'm going to reel it in because i'm going to cast out about 250 feet i'm going to reel it in about five times and let it drop. When I let it drop, then I'll start jigging it around until I attract these fish here. Okay, let me go back to my soft bait. Cast way out there. Reel in one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna let my soft bait drop. Hopefully it drops right in front of its face. There we go, turned red. I'm right on the bottom. It's taken off on us. And we'll bring him in.
Yeah, this is a really nice location. This is one of my favorite places to fish. I really like the fall colors without the cold. <laughs> Not a big fan on the cold. So what's your favorite place to fish on uh, real VR fishing? Go ahead and leave me a comment. Tell me where your favorite place to fish is. All right, we almost have it here. These large fish take a little bit of time to reel in. Sometimes you can reach out there and bring them in a little bit easier. Let me get closer. And there we go. Yeah, that's a big one. There's our striped bass. All right, so we'll go ahead and keep it. So now, if you remember, there were two of them out there. And now I'm going to switch over to float fishing. And, of course, they like the uh, worm. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the krill. So when you're looking for this guy, if you start with the krill, so I'm going to start with the krill, you're going to be looking for a large yellow fish, like that guy right there. He's yellow on the krill. And when you're when it's yellow on the krill, that will always be the striped bass. So that's the easiest method to find this guy, is just starting with the krill and looking for a large yellow fish. So that's why I said, if you want to do float fishing, especially for this guy, he's really easy to spot because you're just looking for a yellow fish on the krill. And just go left one time. Oh, sorry. Is it left? It is left one time. Yep, to the worm. And it's going to turn green. So I'm going to get to my larger worm here. All right, there, right there. My worm A. And we're going to catch this guy. So you got your krill. He's yellow, green on the worm. I'm going to cast out, reel it in five, probably about seven times and let it drop to the bottom here. Let's see. So I got it all the way down on the bottom and hopefully we don't catch any of these other green fish up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let my line drop to the bottom. Should attract him, since I'm using A, should get it from all kinds of distances. And I'm us using the pencil bobber right now, so it doesn't move around much. There we go, turned red, finally attracted it. He's gonna take off on us. And we'll bring him in. All right, so here we go. I kind of sped it up a little bit so that uh, it was taking a while to bring it in. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it in now. And there we go. There's our striped bass. And we're going to keep that guy. All right, so now let's go to a another location and uh, fish for the smallmouth bass. I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are on location nine. And there's three locations that I highly recommend using if you want to catch the smallmouth bass. That's locations 5, 9, and 10. And the reason I recommend those is because you're going to avoid the white sucker, which is very similar as far as the uh, color code. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up our Fishopedia here. And we're going to look at the smallmouth bass. For live baits, it does use the shiner. And for lures, you have minnow, crankbait, and whopper plopper. Now, the way to find this guy is I'm going to start off with a whopper plopper. I'm going to be looking for a green medium-sized fish on the whopper plopper. And then I'm just going to go back to the left and catch it on the minnow. Um, so make sure that it's green on the whopper plopper and green on the minnow. If you have it green on both those or even green on the crankbait as well. So if you have green on all of these, then that's going to be your smallmouth bass. So let's go ahead and bring it up here. I already have my whopper plopper on there. And it looks like we have a green medium sized fish there. Let me go ahead and go to the left a couple of times. And there we go, I got it on the crankbait, it turned green again, and it's green on the minnow. So there is our smallmouth bass. Um, I can go to the crankbait, since it's down towards the bottom, 
since it's a, a lighter color, that one might actually be more in the middle. So what I could do is go back to the minnow and just kind of bring it down into the middle. Reel it in five times, because again, I'm gonna cast out using my rod A, I'm gonna cast out 250 feet. I'll reel it in about five times, let it sink down a little bit right in front of its face. All right, so let's go ahead and cast out there and see if we can catch that guy. Went all the way out. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna let it drop. And there it goes, it turned red. Must have dropped right in front of its face. I'm gonna kind of reel it in a little bit to keep it going. And this one's not gonna run because it is a medium sized fish. So you just set your hook and reel it in. Now the reason I didn't show you how to catch it on live bait on all of them is because I'm showing you the easiest methods to catch these guys and to find these guys, I should say. So these are these are the easiest ways, the quickest ways to find these. Of course, you can catch them on live bait just like you could the striped bass. I showed you the striped bass because both ways are really easy to find. But on the largemouth and smallmouth bass, using the uh, the lures is the easiest way to to spot these guys quickly. So if you want to find these quickly, use the lures. So there you go. There's the smallmouth bass. We'll go ahead and keep him. And there we have it. Now we've caught all three of the different freshwater bass in four different locations. So hopefully this was a very informative video for you. If you haven't done so already, please give this one a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.